Hey everyone, welcome back to Gurner Reviews, and today we've got a bit of a Knipex haul here, and I wanted to share with you guys. It was a great time uh, recently. KC Tools was having a 15% off sale, everything Knipex, and that was anything even including their previous on sales items. That 15% still applied, so it was a great opportunity, and I took took advantage of it to buy a few tools here um, that I've been kind of eyeballing and um, deciding whether or not I actually needed them and kind of settled into these here. Now, a few of these are going to notice some duplicates and that's because I'm buying uh, a set for myself and then another gentleman that uh, works with me as well. So uh, first things first here though, we'll just look up, look at these two right up on the top. We've got some keys. Now, uh, I've got kind of two different styles just, just to cover two different bases and I wasn't sure if like how much I would actually like these. So um, I've got this style. It looks a little bit more like a traditional, um, you're kind of like silcock key or something like that. This one has um, essentially eight different keys built in here. This will rotate and then you get a bunch of different sizes here for different um, attachments. It's kind of nice. It's got a lanyard here. Let's pop this one open real quick and we'll take a look at it. And that's what that looks like. So a really nice long lanyard. So you can keep that close by and not lose it or anything like that. Very well built as always. That spins very nice. It's kind of got a little bit of a locking detent there so it keeps it in place. But you can kind of see that it looks like it's magnetized in there too, which maybe it's not, hard to tell. But you've got all these different ends for whatever you may encounter. Uh, for us, it's going to be primarily water and gas would be my two primary concerns. Uh, you got, looks like two different fittings there as well. And then this, I'm assuming you would drive, put it like this. And then you have some different options there. Oh, and it looks like possibly another, let's see here. Maybe it's just that style there. So I'm not sure what this edge is, but... Anyways, so you got plenty of options there. Nice, nice uh, key system from Knipex. Again, good quality, and it's one of those tools that you don't need often, but when you need it, you absolutely need it. Let's look at this version. Now, this one I kind of assumed would be a little bit handier, just because it's you know, kind of foldable. Um, and you've kind of got some different ways of maybe packing it around, but you have less total keys, so. As you can see here, it's basically got four obvious ones. You've got kind of multiple built in there. Looks like a square and a triangle. Yeah. Pretty decent looking. You got your, I'm not sure what this is actually for. I've never run into a key that's set up like that. So if anyone knows, drop a comment down below. Let me know what that is typically used for. Um, most of the stuff I run into is like a square or triangle. So you can see you got some different options built in there. So I guess actually, even though you've got four actual keys here, you're getting more, more options than it looks like. You can see the different sizes here, square, triangle, and then it's like kind of circular slotted one. So great option there. And then the nice thing here is you kind of push that together and this becomes like rigid, stiff, so you could uh, carry it like that. Oh, you got one on the side there too, I missed that. So another little small key there. Probably put like a quarter inch drive almost, something like that. And then you can pull this open and you could turn it, get a little bit of leverage and use it that way. So wonder, that kind of locks up. Yeah, that locks up nice like that. So you could lock it up like that and get a little bit of leverage if you needed it like that, or depending on how you want to store it, you know, you could fold it up like that. So great little option there. A couple of different ones there. These, you've probably seen these before. It's kind of interesting that they got shipped in a plastic bag like this. Usually Knipex comes in like some sort of box, but these came in a bag, which I'm not worried about it. They're gonna get in use real quick, but I got two sets of these. These are the Knipex Twin Grips. Absolutely awesome. Essentially a pair of slip joints, but better. 
you have, you know, more precise adjustments there for your opening size. And then really you get this awesome jaw design, which is absolutely excellent for screw extraction. Uh, and then, you know, the comfort grips, I prefer this style of grip. It's great in the hand. So I got two sets of those because these are honestly one of those tools. Once you get a set, you're going to find a lot of ways of utilizing them. It's just an incredibly well-designed tool from Knipex. Of course, you get that all that quality that you would normally expect. So got two sets of those. Let me throw those off to the side here. These, this is something I've really been interested in and I decided to give it a shot. Um, a good pair of scissors is just hard to beat. Um, and these are obviously kind of geared towards more like an electrician, um, like a shear, but you know, you can use them like a typical scissor. Now I was curious how this is actually going to feel in the hand. It feels really nice. It's probably a little bit small to get all four fingers in the looped part there. It's probably meant for three. You can leave your pinky hanging out. You got a release here. So that actually, ooh, that's a nice strong spring. So the spring's open. Very nice. Now, depending on, obviously on your hand size, you know, this may be hard to open up all the way. Like that's fully open right there. Obviously my hand isn't large enough. I can't operate that, but for probably 90% of what I'm doing, this right here is all I'm gonna need. I have to open it up a little bit bigger or even get it started I could do that but that is that I'm this is interesting this is interesting I have a pair of scissors from engineer just like a little smaller pair of electrician shears I love those but I've really been kind of interested in this angle design so it'll be interesting to see how these work I mean they feel nice in the hand I'm assuming you kind of hold it like this so you can operate that you know, snip things away. You do have a couple of crimp options here too, which is great. So it's kind of a nice little multi-purpose, get out here, fly. And then even a, looks like a cutter back here. So, Inox HRC 56, 56, good solid lock, so it stays stored. And then you do have a tether point here for lanyard or any sort of um, fall protection. So great looking pair of scissors. It'll be interesting to actually start using them. You know, I mean, you're very, I'm very used to your typical pair of scissors. So we'll see how these work. Let's look at the back here. So you can kind of see all the different features, tether tool option, your crimp from 0.5 to 6 millimeter and 10 to 25. So good stuff here. Good stuff. I mean, it's Kinepex. I'm expecting a certain level of quality with all their tools. These look like they would hold up and work nice. I guess just this uh, shape and the ergonomics of this, you know, we'll see if this is everyone's cup of tea or not. So very cool. I'll get to these big boys here in the back in a second. Obviously, they've probably been drawing most of the attention. But last tool here besides the giant cobras. There we go. These are the, is it the precision? Uh, precision strip or pressy strip, something like that. What is? What do they call these now? It's essentially just a nice, yeah. Uh, pressy strip 16 um i have been eyeballing these for a long time now these are expensive but if you get into a situation where you're doing a lot of repeated um stripping especially you know you're wanting to try and control how much is stripped sorry about the fly this thing is just ridiculous this is a great option you've got a stopper here this little red piece and it looks like yeah you push down on these ears you can adjust that for the length of the actual strip, how much insulation you want to remove. So let's just say it's right there. And then you push the wire in through the front. You got your teeth here. I'm gonna focus in. And show this on the side here. So you bite down. 
It's going to pull. There's that stripping action. Pull it back. And it releases it. So you can kind of see how fast that should operate. Looks like you've got an adjustment here. I'm assuming that's for... I'll have to read the directions, but I think this adjustment adjusts how much actual biting force or cutting force you've got on these blades up here. And then you've got a nice kind of big shear up here. That looks like it's definitely big, big enough, strong enough you could, you know, cut through Romex or something like that. So just an, oh, what's this back here? Awesome looking tool. Again, uh, probably not something, well, that's interesting. Got a little bit of leftover molding or uh, over molding there. Anyways, probably not a tool that I would buy unless, uh, unless I, you know, you're an electrician, you're doing this a lot, but it was on sale and then you, I was getting an additional 15% off. So it made the price point on this really a lot better, a lot more approachable. And I just, I do enough, um, to kind of warrant it. So what does that do? I don't know what that does. Pulls back. Oh, there we go. Huh. I don't know what that does. I'm not that I should read the instructions before I break something here. So locks into place. Interesting. So I will play with this a little bit, read the instructions, get it all figured out. And then I'll I'll definitely do a short of this in action. I've got um, a bunch of actually uh, wiring up in a ceiling for some can lights and we're kind of retrofitting some stuff. So these will be great for that because, you know, trying to get sometimes like strippers in sideways into a can or something like that or into a tight space. These obviously you can just grab the wire straight on, grab and pull and it's done. Easy peasy. Very, very excited to try those out. And last, but certainly not least, these are the 22-inch Knipex Cobras. So this is the XXL model, and the number on these is, oh, let's see, here we go. So the 8701560s, 560 millimeter, I think it's got a jaw capacity, yeah, four and a half inches. Look at those behemoths. These are just so wildly large um, and heavy and awesome. I am so excited. Uh, I get into uh, some plumbing projects and we can definitely run into some big stuff, some three, four inch lines. And a lot of it's pretty old. And so trying to break stuff loose sometimes can be a challenge. And I recently had a project and we ended up having... Um, Oh, I can't remember. It was some sort of channel lock variety or some flavor of, of that. And they were fairly large. They were probably about this big. And we were finally able to get it done. But using them and just realizing how frustrating they were and the quality of them. And they weren't cheap. I think they were a $50 or $60 item. And it was just really disappointing to see um, them in use. And like I said, I don't remember the, the brand. I don't think it was... It may have been channel lock, I can't actually remember, but whoever made it, it was similar to, to that style, to this style, and um, it was disappointing. So these, again, an expensive item, but on sale, 15% off, makes this way approachable, and it's one of those things, it's a tool, again, you get into the right situation, and you're trying to break something loose to make a repair, or you know, doing a replacement or something like that. And this can, can become very invaluable very quickly. Um, and if it means completing a job and getting things up and running again quickly, you know, something like this can pay for itself in one or two jobs pretty quick. So the jaws on these are just, let's just check these out. Real. I mean, look at those teeth. That is just, that is next level. You could grab onto something and you're never going to let go. So definitely an expensive but cool piece. And if you need it, you need it. Very, very excited. I'm actually now excited to like run into another project where I need this. And, you know, before I'd be like, oh gosh, please, please not today. But today, if I run into something like this, needing this, I'm going to be pretty excited now. 
So that's kind of what I've got. It was like a, like I said, nice little Knipex tool haul here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or if you have any experience with any of these tools and would like to share anything with, the, or anything with me or with the audience, please just drop a uh, comment down in the comment section down below. If you feel like uh, subscribing, you know, I, I wouldn't mind. I'm not going to complain. Uh, but anyways, guys, as always, I really enjoy this. Enjoy hearing from you guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.